Hey you guys, I'm back again with another message from the Lord. This particular message is based upon a dream too as well. But God wants me to come and tell his children and warn his children, be careful where you drink. Okay? I know I had posted a video around this time last year about eating. A lot of us are very aware of eating, not eating from everybody, not eating from everybody's table. But God is saying, be very careful where you drink it. Because um, someone is trying to poison someone through a drink. Um, so watch your drinks, watch where you're drinking it at, watch who is giving you a drink. Okay. Be careful where you drink. Um, in this particular dream, there were three girls and they were trying to, they fix up a nice, pretty light mixed drink, but it was actually a poisonous drink. It reminded me of, um, the movie Snow White, how the witch gave Snow White a poisonous apple. It was a poisonous drink. It looked it one way, it looked it so pretty, but then once the person started drinking it, it turned black. All right? Um, just like the apple was really black on the outside, but the, the witch covered it and made it red in Snow White. Um, God is saying, be careful where you drink. Um, and it might can be somebody trying to put like, like they say, a Mickey or something in your drink. Be careful where you drink. If you put your drink down, don't go... Um, pick it back up if you don't feel comfortable um, with the drinks. If you are somewhere and somewhere at offers to buy you a drink, you don't know these people or your spirit of discernment kick in, tell them no thank you. All right. Um, I, I am getting to the point where now where I go out to different people, houses and stuff like that. What well, are houses? When I go out in a people community or if I go to someone's house because um, God might leave me there or something or I'm working or whatever. I do not um, accept everybody drink. And if I do, if they do offer me something, I ask for a bottle of water. Okay. <laughs> bottle of water. All right. And, you know, and, and, and that's because sometimes I don't want to seem like I'm being rude or um, not wanting to accept their hospitality. But sometimes it's okay to say, no, thank you. I'm fine. Sometimes I do say, no, thank you. I'm fine. But like certain people, houses or whatever, or just, you know, um, if you don't want to appear rude or anything like that, ask for a bottle of water. If you don't feel comfortable drinking the bottle of water while you're there, don't take it with you and then dispose of it, okay? That's a trick that, um, um, or some a tip that I would give. But, but God is saying, be careful where you drink. I mean, it really was at, in the vision or the dream that I had, it was at an actual bar location. So this might be for someone who likes to go to the bars to, for the holidays, just to go watch the game or whatever. Be careful where you drink, okay? And I'll tell you, it was three girls. It was three girls together, but they were actually witches, all right? Um, they believed in witchcraft. They were disguising themselves. There was three girls um, together, and they were trying to offer a person a drink, and the person drank it, and the drink, turned, the drink turned black. Be very, very careful, okay, because it was a poisonous drink. Um, people are mean. People are, people are spiteful. People can um, sense in the spirit when you are a child of God. A lot of people, like I said, they get triggered by God's children anointing. They get triggered by God's children's favor. Be careful where you eat and drink. Especially if this dream is be careful where you drink, okay? Um, buy your own drinks. Um, if you're out and about, don't let people buy your drink. If you, you know what I'm saying? Or if they buy, if someone offers to buy your drink, don't let them go to the counter and buy. You go with them. Okay, um, or um, if you have already ordered your drink and then someone walks up to you and you have your drink in hand already and they offer to pay, that's fine. But don't just let people just say you go to the bathroom and come back and they say, hey, we order you this drink. We think you might like it. Drink it. Don't do that because it can be a setup. Okay, but God is clearly saying be careful where you drink. Be careful who you let give you a drink because people are trying to do attacks on God's children during this time during this hour. All right. Be careful. Um, be very, very careful. God might try to, God might tell you during this season that you might need to stay in the house some or, you know, isolate some, get more in his presence because it is an uptick of attacks during this time when it comes to God's children. And the first place that a person will try to attack you at is your food and your drink. All right. Like I said, when I go to people's house, I don't even really ask for their drinks and stuff because I can't see what's in there. Give me water. Water supposed to be clear. I know what water supposed to look like. Okay. <laughs> Give me a bottle of water. Okay. Fresh bottle of water that haven't been opened. Give me that. 
I'll take it. All right. So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day. Be very careful during the season. Stay prayed up. Um, be very mindful. Okay. In this season, in this hour, you can't eat, you can't drink any everywhere. Okay. Um, because there are people that are, are trying to attack. And like I said, it's not necessarily now in the food now because they know God's children are getting wiser. Now it's in the drink. So be careful about your drink. Be careful where you drink. Okay. So I, I write you guys. I love you all. I pray that you guys have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.